Hello, and welcome back to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and once again, we're in Staff Tool Strategies. Today, we're going to be looking at hiding empty staffs. Now, if you're a longtime Finale user, you might remember that there was something called staff optimization, I believe, or optimized staffs. Uh, Finale sort of changed the way that it does that, um, and now it just allows you to hide empty staffs. It works slightly differently, but the, the premise is pretty much the same. Uh, so let's get to this. And what I mean when I refer to hiding empty staffs is a lot of times with you know chorus or vocal pieces like this, sometimes if you have a, of a solo going for a long time, you don't want to see all these uh, chorus parts. So we can get rid of them on a system by system basis. So that's what I'm talking about here. It's sort of locally hiding uh, empty staffs. All right, so with the staff tool, all we need to do is select a measure on the staff in the system that we want to hide it. And we don't even have to select all the staffs, we just really need to select one of them. And then from the staff menu, there's an option here called hide empty staffs, and it will do just that. The soprano staff now goes away. Now we can hide more than one empty staff at a time. Just make sure that you select more than one. We'll select all four of them right here. Again, it doesn't have to be the whole system. It can just be a single measure hide empty staves, and it will hide all four of those staffs all at once. There's a slightly easier way to do this. With the uh, handles in the upper left corner of each staff, uh, if we were to right click there, we get this contextual menu and you'll see that option exists here, hide empty staff. So we just choose that and it does the same thing. It sort of works the same exact way if you select multiple staffs. And when you select multiple staffs like this, you'll see that the handles are actually highlighted and it doesn't matter which one you right click. You can just do hide empty staffs and they all go away. Now, there's a couple of things to realize about this is that this will only hide empty staffs. As it says, if I tried to do this on a staff that has notes, um, nothing would happen. You'll see nothing, it still exists, nothing happens. However, there are some things that uh, Finale does consider empty, even though it's not technically empty. For example, this slash notation uh, on this electric bass part, I can actually hide this it will go away. Finale does not consider the slash notation to be data. Same thing with one and two bar repeat notation, so just be careful with that. And there's other types of data that Finale will still consider empty. In fact, in bar 10 over here, I think, yep, I have a real uh, whole rest there. And uh, Finale will still allow me to hide this staff as, not delete, hide empty staff as if it were empty. There's other types of data that it will ignore as well, like, you know, fermatas or uh, crescendos. Uh, even uh, expressions, we can put this. I mean, I have all this data here, and Finale is still allowing me to hide this empty staff, right? So there's only a certain type of data um, that will uh, prevent Finale from hiding the empty staff. In fact, one of them is chords. So if I were to put a chord here, B flat 7, even though everything else is empty, there isn't even a real whole rest there, and I tried to hide this staff, it won't let me. Finale considers that chord uh, a piece of data that's unhideable. So uh, it is a little odd that it does it like that, um, but that's exactly what's going on. And of course, as I mentioned, the slashes will get hidden, but if you actually have data underneath the slashes, if I just put a single note here um, underneath the slashes, then Finale will not let me hide this empty staff because it doesn't consider it empty anymore. There's actually a note in there. So. Uh, so that's what's going on. It's, there's uh, certain occasions where it will um, not allow you to hide and other occasions where it will allow you to hide. Now, just a couple other random little uh, things to note here. You know, if I were to do something like hide just the alto part here, hide empty staves, you'll notice that the brackets will remain or they'll get adjusted. So you'll never have to worry about the groups. They, the groups will always uh, go back to normal unless you hide three of them so that you remain with... Uh, you know, a single staff, then the bracket goes away. This has to do with the uh, group setting. Uh, if I can go into here, uh, that has to, that uh, calls show bracket if group contains only one staff. This usually should be checked off, so this is appropriate. Don't worry about that. Um, the bracket will go away if you hide all but a single staff. Another thing of note is that there is a strange bug, and it might be Mac specific. I'm not 100% sure about this, but if you try to use the uh, handle here, the right click the handle to choose empty staffs on any uh, staff that uses percussion notation, uh, it won't work for some reason. And this is a strange bug. However, you can always do it from the menu and magically it works. I'm not sure why uh, that is. It definitely seems like a bug for, but whatever, for whatever reason, percussion staffs can't be hidden with the contextual menu. 
Now, as I'm doing this, I'm hiding stabs left and right, but there's one thing uh, that you may be important to realize is that in the staff attributes, on every single staff that you create out of the box with Finale, you'll have this behavior checked called allow hiding when empty. If for some reason there is a staff in your score that you never, ever, ever want to hide from the score, you can go into the staff attributes for that and just uncheck this. And now that my soprano is unchecked, no matter how empty the staff is, uh, it will not allow me to hide that staff. That's because this option is unchecked, which would disallow me from hiding that soprano staff. In the similar vein, there is a setting in the groups uh, that will not allow uh, certain groups to hide a single staff. So let me just go into this piano group here to show you what this is. It's this option in the middle when hiding empty staffs only hide if all staffs are empty. There's two other options to never hide which would be the equivalent of that option in the staff attributes uh, to not allow hiding uh, or there's hide normally. Now the piano group and any grand staff grouping is going to have this option checked by default and basically what this means is that you can't uh, hide a single staff within the piano and if I try to do that nothing will happen however if you select two staffs all, or both staffs for the group and hide it will allow you to hide the entire instrument so I think it's probably a good thing you know 9.5 times out of 10 you don't want to hide a single line in a piano part but there is a rare occasion where it would be useful to hide the left hand for you know 64 measures or something uh, in order to be able to do that, you do have to go into the group attributes and change the uh, state of what this uh, op this uh, menu is just to hide normally. And now, as you suspect, that would make it uh, able to hide just the single staff within the piano part. And you can see that now we just have the right hand. The bracket goes away uh, because that's the way that the group is set up to uh, sh not show bracket if group contains only one staff, which is uh, correct in my opinion. So once we have staffs that are hidden, so let me just go and hide this one again. Uh, what you may notice is that you still have a handle for that staff. It's right here, and it's very faint to see, but there's a gray dotted line that runs horizontally along the, uh, the, the system where that hidden staff is. So if we want to show that staff again, all we have to do is just select that handle, go to the staff menu, and choose Show Empty Staffs, and that staff will magically appear. Um, if this staff is hidden, let's do this one more time, we can also right click that handle and it will give us one single option to show soprano, which just means do you want to show that soprano staff again? Yes, I do. And it reappears. Interestingly, if we have more than one contiguous staff hidden, like I do right now, you'll still only have a single handle and a, a, a single dotted gray line running horizontal. However, this time, if you right click that, you'll have more options and you can show any one of these staffs if you want, or you can show them all again all at once, just like that. So a lot of different uh, options dealing with showing the staffs. Speaking of showing the staffs, I should just done this. Let me hide this one more time. Now the the staffs are hidden on the first system here, right? But they're not they're not gone. They still you know they still exist, and we know they exist by going into the um, uh, scroll view here. And obviously these first four bars are still here. It's not like these four four bars are hidden. Uh, if you start adding notes in scroll view to one of these measures that's hidden in page view, let's just add a few notes here. Um, appropriately, Finale, when you go back to page view, will reshow that one staff where you added the note. This is sort of a safety because if you start adding notes to empty staffs and you forgot that they were empty or and you forgot that they were hidden, um, it could be a problem because you would lose data. So every time you add notes to a hidden staff, they will always reappear no matter what. And when you do that, you still have the other staffs being hidden here. Of course, you can always go and show all. So there's lots of uh, lots of things to deal with in that regard. And the last thing I want to not the last thing, the second to last thing I want to talk about here is that uh, you know don't be afraid to use this function you know in mass. Like you know if you have a piece like this where you have a, a solo vocal line and you know a, a chorus here and you want to kind of hide the chorus when they're not singing so that it, you know you can save yourself some paper. Um, you know, you can just, if you want, just select the entire chorus, right? Just by, um, you know, clicking to the left and then shift clicking to the left uh, to the, 
of the baseline here. This selects the entire uh, four staves here. And then from here, you can either right click, and it doesn't matter which handle you right click, or you can go into the menu again and choose hide empty staves. And this will choose only the empty staves in the entire selection to hide. If there are notes in any of that selection, they will remain. So in this third system, you'll see these uh, notes are there and it did not hide the system as you would expect. Everywhere else where there was no data yet, um, the, uh, the parts got hidden. So, you know, you don't need to go through, you know, system by system or staff by staff and, you know, hide every single, you know, one staff at a time on each system. That would just take too long. You know, don't be afraid to do this, you know, in a kind of mass operation type of way. Oh, and one other thing I did fail to mention, I do have a couple empty staffs, empty systems over here. Uh, you can't actually hide all of the staffs on a system. If I were to try to do that, I just selected this entire system. It would always leave the top staff. So it is impossible to hide every single uh, staff on a given system. And uh, I keep remembering things here. <laughs> One other thing I wanted to talk about, I talked about this a little bit in the previous video. Uh, if for some reason you do have data in a staff on a system that you still want to hide, you can use a staff style instead of doing the hide empty staff. Because as you know by now, hiding empty staffs here will do nothing. But uh, if you choose one of these staff styles down here, uh, preferably the collapse option, this will actually um, hide that staff despite the fact that there's data in there. So if for some reason you have a staff that has data and you still need to hide it, that would be the way to go with a staff style. Actually, it would be the only way to go, otherwise you wouldn't be able to hide that. And now finally, I think this is the last thing I want to talk about, uh, linked parts. So I do have a linked part here called Piano Chorus, which is just, uh, you know, I'm taking out some of the staffs. This is just the piano part and just the chorus parts. Uh, I can go into a part like this and hide the staffs the same way. And uh, just be aware that this is completely independent from the score. So this first system is only hidden in this particular part. If I go back to the score, it still exists. So this whole hiding uh, staffs operation is completely independent between score and parts. That's important to realize. Um, so uh, you know, don't expect to hide them in the score and, and expect to see them hidden in the part as well. It is two separate things. So, uh, so that's what's going on there. All right, and I think that is the end of hiding empty staffs. I think I've covered it all. Um, so yeah, so the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to start talking about the staff spacing, which will be the spacing between each individual staff on every system, and there's a lot to do there. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, so we're getting close to the end of the staff tool strategies videos, I promise. Um, this has been pretty extensive, but we're, uh, we're, get, we're doing well. All right, so once again, thanks for watching it. I appreciate it, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, and, you know, I'll see you soon on the next video.